in fact, the vast majority of the British people want a vote in a referendum. Yeah. I and millions of others in this country want to be in Britain and run by Britain. Yeah. There's a wind blowing across the land Common folk are joining hands They've heard the call, they've seen the light Now they're ready for the fight Voting week in and week out to keep their favourite contestants in programmes like Strictly Come Dancing and The X Factor. Many people will be baffled as to why it is that the government and all those who oppose this motion seem keen to prevent them from having their chance to vote on Britain's future relationship with the European Union. Permission sought without a word or a second thought. Would he agree that they'll be even more baffled to understand why the Liberal Democrats, who stood on an election manifesto to have an in out referendum, who actually marched out of this house in the previous parliament because they were denied an in out referendum, will he not agree that they'll be particularly baffled why none of those charlatans over there will be voting for this motion? Let the people decide. Oh. was in orange. I mean, that is exactly what they wanted to, to give the people, and I'm surprised that they're not honouring it today. Yeah. 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 Mr Speaker, I believe that it is now time to start the process of consulting the British people. Now give us back a voice, that's all we're asking for. Give us a choice. Give us a choice. confidence given to you by your constituents. You know, don't rebel against the people who sent you here. But despite all talk of reclaiming powers, what happens week in and week out are competences and powers are being transferred to Brussels under the very noses of the British people and that's why there is growing frustration in this country, that's why they want to say or whether they want to become part of this ever closer political union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worse still, the longer you are on the train, the more the fare goes up. But there is absolutely nothing you can do about it, as any negotiation with the guards or the driver is virtually impossible. This motion would simply allow the train to stop for a while so the passengers can decide whether they want to continue the journey or even disembark. Let the people decide. With the three largest parties in this House, all apparently instructing their MPs to vote against this motion, despite what they may individually believe is the best course of action for our country, members of this House can either vote to give their constituents a choice on Britain's ongoing relationship with the European Union, or they can vote to deny them that opportunity. It is as simple as that. If my fellow MPs join me in voting to give the British people a choice in a referendum, they can do so with a clear conscience, knowing that they will have a very large majority of the British people on their side. I'll give way to my honourable friend for giving way. Has my honourable friend had the same experience as me, that over the last week I've had dozens and dozens and dozens of emails, telephone calls and letters from constituents urging me to support this motion, and the only communication I've had urging me to vote against it was a telephone call from the Whip's office. <laughs> Let the people decide.